Winston, let's take a look at your kitchen first. You are riding on like a, a three week winning streak here. Do you think you guys deserve a fourth? Of course, I definitely do. Uh, this week uh, is much different from the previous week. Previous rooms were always bright. Uh, this time around, we're going dark, we're going colorful. Basically what we wanted, inspired by Jamie's wonderful book, uh, we wanted to bring the nature in. And of course, to blur the line That's between so brown interior oh, no. and exterior. Like <laughs> say it, say it, Winston. What's the word? Transterior. <laughs> Transterior. Yes! Uh... So being Malaysian, my parents and I believe all parents out there spend a lot of time, you know, quality time in the kitchen and dining. So for us, living is always the face of a house, but in fact, kitchen and dining is always the heart of the home. And that's what we delivered here. Alex, what did you do that you don't normally do in this space? I constructed some things. She built. I created a panel wall inspired by Mondrian, a person who started Bauhaus movement in the 70s. And I think you did that really well. I loved your color palette. I actually really liked the charcoal with that beautiful deep sage green. It was really earthy and lovely. And thank you for putting shutters over that window mm. because that was a, an who absolute did that? success. Well, that is probably a real highlight in this series so far. Those windows need exactly that sort of treatment. Yeah. Suddenly, the atmosphere of that space was totally changed by that one thing. I felt as if we had actually walked into a kitchen that was occupied by a family. And it felt multi-generational. It felt as if it had many different traditions. I think you've come up with something quite original here. There is a real sort of new Peranakin style here that has a lovely Eastern European heart to it and then a lot of Western sophistication. And you, Winston, sir, are absolutely right. The kitchen is the heart of the home. And your kitchen had, like you, Winston, an enormous amount of heart. <laughs>